Dear friends, my name is Manuel Hernandez. Let me tell you a short and terrible story that I listened at the tavern. When people made pilgrimage to famous Canterbury Sanctuary, pilgrims are people of all social classes. There were knights and merchants, millers and nuns, clerks, reeves, squires, fishes and... These people passed the night at the tavern, a big and friendly hostel, and died amused themselves, telling stories about several topics. It was in that in this place where I listened to the story which was told by a physician. This is the story. Once upon a time, a knight named Virginius, man rich and honest, who had an only daughter whose name was Virginia. She was the most beautiful, intelligent, and virtuous lady on the shire. She was plentiful of charm, though she was 14 years old. All people admired and admired their parents. But in that place, there was an also evil judge, whose name was Apius. This one sought and wanted Virginia. He wanted her with all his lust, but she was virtuous and inaccessible for him. So, this wicked judge hired an accomplice, whose name was Claudius, and together planned a terrible plot against Virginius and his daughter. The plan was this. Claudius would make a plea before this evil judge and claim before the justice that Virginius stole him, him a servant and he keeps her in his house as a daughter. Virginius was called to the immoral trial. The evil judge saw the case in favor of his accomplice Claudius. Therefore, the servant, who was really Virginia, must to be released to his fake master Claudius. Virginius came back to home suffering the deepest grief of his life. He told everything to his daughter, and he told his terrible resolutions. She must to choose between death or shame. They have a long and painful talk. She suffered fainting, and after she recovered her consciousness, she tell her, she tell him his, she tell his father. Blessed be God that I shied, thy a maid, gain me death before I come to shame. Do with your child as your will in God's name. Virginius beholds her and brings her health to Apius, the immoral judge. When he notes that he never will have to Virginia, orders to hang the homicide father. But in this moment, people come and take the evil judge to the jail and hang to Claudius, the accomplice. Finally, Apius suicides in the jail and Claudius is ex was exiled because Virginius built this.
the physicians at the final of the story stayed with a vigorous and shaping words. Therefore, I, I advise you, this counsel take, forsake sin, before sin made you forsake. Thank you for watching.